Jeffrey Mogilner. I was embarrassed. The whole church could see us. And my son was doing something embarrassing. And so I shoved him. And you know, that was the first thing I thought of. And Bobby was dying in the hospital just, what, two months ago. I'm in there. And I'm holding his hand. He had all these tubes. And I thought, what can I say? What can I do? It was like I was empty and there was nothing left except holding his hand. But I knew there was something left. So, In that moment, I realized I'd been afraid to mention it, embarrassed. And I looked in Bobby's eyes, his pupils were these black olives, and I said, Bobby, you know I love you, honey, and I don't know how to say this. And I wanted to for so long, and I've always. And boy, it was all I could do to get out the word apologize. And he looks at me and he says, it's so okay, Dad. <laughs> for years, I debated whether to say anything afraid. And he says, it's so okay, Dad. I never intended to follow science into anything more than a hobby. But I was curious how things happened. And one day, it was as if all the forces in the universe had come together in that one moment and space and time to deliver an answer to me. All those things we cannot change but wish we could Something reached out and spoke to me, and I understood. I had been given the secret, and it was so simple. 